trophies in the building. What's going on, my guy? My nigga DNA, what it do, man? Ain't drink, shit, uh, chillin'. Yeah, get money, drink water, man. Of course, of course. Yo, What's um, guy, let's jump right into it, man. First of all, phenomenal, phenomenal run in Ultimate Madness Five. I tip my hat for what you was appreciate capable, it, for what you was able to do, um, in two weeks times, three times in a row. It was spectacular yes. work. Um, was this close, fool? Was this close? I know, fool? I know, I know, I know, That's I know. Close, man. I know, That's I know. Cool, yeah, in my opinion, I told niggas, I said I don't feel like it was a robbery at all. But no, no, but, no, 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 no. But but I had I had JC round one, I had you round two, and I edged you round three. That that was just my opinion. You know what I mean? And I cool, forget. Cool. I think I was with Cortez, Uncle Ra, and um uh, my boy Z the dropout. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I, I feel like. I think everybody was kind of saying the same thing, but I I know like me I just know how it goes in a live building with judges. He went last, and his third wasn't not mean whack, not mean. And he exactly. had he had he had a couple crazy lines that where it's like people don't know that with judging like the lasting impression that plays a factor. It's everything, so, bro. It's you know what I mean? Everything, so, bro. Yeah, I, um, I in the building, uh, a lot of people when the judging was happening, man, a lot of people gashed. Like, oh, what? Like, a lot of I got a lot of that. Man, this is probably, like, the first time exiting off the stage that I had. It took me probably 20 minutes to get out the door, bro. Like, mm. it took me about 20 minutes to get out the door because everybody was telling me that, yo, you won, you won, you got robbed. I hated that rob word, bro, because yeah. I'm, I'm saying to myself, like, man, a robbery is literally, like, Yo, man, I don't see how they get yeah. the other way. I don't see how. There's no possible way. What? Tell me the lines. And you can't pop as an MC. You know, when somebody up there rapping, it's like, man, a couple more of these is getting close. Like, yeah, getting close. Yeah. And um, I break down. Um, I break down rounds in the quarters. So, uh, in this third round, if I'm doing four quarters in this third round, first and second quarter of his third round, I thought he was all right. But but third and fourth quarter, he was on fire. He yeah. was on fire. You know, so it's like between that right there, the last impression is everything, man. Um, I felt like uh, Rita, shout out to Rita from Champion. She said she felt like if, if the roles was reversed and I went second, that it would have been a lot clearer because I would have had the last impression. But mm -hmm. with all that being said, bro, like, man, I don't think it's a robbery at all. I think people need to kill that narrative because if I'm walking around saying I ain't get robbed, there's no point in you going around saying you got robbed. I mean, that I got robbed on behalf of me. Mm -hmm. I'm not walking around saying that, bro. Like, I think JC did phenomenal, man. I learned a lot of that. I learned a lot. That That's what I was just getting into next. Like, how did it how did it feel battling somebody of his caliber, the consistency? Because, you know I mean? Tournament or not, I done seen this nigga. I've been on the road with this nigga week after mm -hmm. week, and it's like yeah. this shit never gets watered down. He's always, you know what I mean, finding new ways to... Be creative and I mean innovative with the pen. So just standing there, like, what was that battle like? Because you got one of them ones early on in your career with like a nigga that's like he's one of them guys yeah. in the culture. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And that was the goal of, of being an ultimate madness for me uh, is to get one of them lessons from one of these tears that I would, you know, I kind of skipped the line, you know, type of yeah. shit because a JC battle I would have had to work for that all for the um um. Uh, uh, UM5 tournament. I would have to do a lot of work to even get to JC. But that right there, that's why I joined the tournament so I can clip somebody and learn from a veteran that I would not be seeing no time soon. So getting that lesson right there, I was telling a lot of people that I learned a lot as far as his defense. I learned more about his defense than anything than, than his crowd control, anything. Uh, he, uh, he was kind of like, I was saying this along the lines, like, if I led with my right foot, he will walk around me to my right. So then this is, that'll turn me away from the cameras. So it's like you want to play toward the camera, though. Mm -hmm. So it's just like little things that he was doing that I was just like, ah, okay, okay. Then I realized after like round one and half round two, don't chase him around. Like yeah. don't, don't chase him around. Like keep him more stagnant. I started putting my hands on him more to like keep him still, like type of thing like that. So I was just learning little, little tricks. Um, at times I was rapping. And to be honest, fool, you know, I'm I'm still a student. I'm like, yo, I can't believe I'm rapping against JC right now. Like, yeah, I, to yeah. be real with you, bro, I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, focus back up. You know, so I'm, I'm rapping. But at, the, at one time I had a moment, like, I'm looking like, 
you see the lights, you see the crowd, you see Smack, you see JC, and I'm looking like, damn, I'm really here, man. And, you know, being in this game for two and a half, it still feels brand new to me. You know what I'm saying? It still feels brand new to me. So that's um, – his poise was another thing that I really learned, too. Like, he's the type that even if he thinks Shabar's fire, he's going to convince the crowd it's not fire. You know, <laughs> it's, and he's – He's very skilled at that. Like what? Not what? Oh, man, all right. The next thing you know, you know some of these, some of the audience members there, like they're very swayed. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like somebody might not even get the ball, but see Smack doing. Oh, and they're like, oh shit! You know, like a lot of this shit is is very. They do a lot of mind fucking. You know what I'm saying? They they just fuck with your head a lot. So. Uh, seeing JC do what he was doing up there, man, that was that was a learning experience, bro, for real. Nah, for sure. Um, taking everything in, cause I know it's hard to do that, cause it's you, it's you. That's you know what I mean. Like somebody could watch from afar and see everything going on, and you just like, yo, man, I gotta keep going. But even though mm -hmm. you know what I mean, um, you're not battling on gnome. It's like, have you really took in and processed like what you just accomplished? from being in this tournament about how many eyes is on you, how many potential battles you got, yeah. you know what I mean, bags, you know what I mean, every, every, your stock just rose, you know what I mean, super high, and, and, it, and it wasn't always like, round one, they was kind of not with you, and then round yeah, two, yeah. you know what I mean, it went for a turn in a different direction, and round three, even with the loss, you know what I mean, by the judges, it's still like, everything is on the up and up for she. Yeah, I, um, uh... I uh I finally like I think yesterday it finally really really hit me because um during the mornings I got I got a blue nose pit and uh when I was doing a lot of my prepping I would walk my dog for probably like an hour and a half so the other day when I was walking my dog I realized I wasn't prepping for nothing and I'm like shit like I'm like I'm out there like man my dog already went to the bathroom I'm like I'm technically done like, yeah. I'm technically done like. There's no need to be out here. So I just, I ended up doing the, the normal walk that I did. But as I was walking, I was like, damn, bro. Like a lot of like top names really, really rock with me. Just go around. Like a lot of people that I just like, man, I got, I got, um, I got a lot of offers. You know, a lot of people saying, man, yo, I love to battle you type of shit like that. Just from a lot of names. I don't want name drop too much. But at first it was just like, damn, for real, you want to battle me? So just that feeling right there, man, it was just like a real, like, at all feeling like, damn, bro, like, you really did something amazing up there, man. So I'm looking at all the feedback from Twitter, from Instagram, and I'm just embracing all the love, man. And um, I knew going into this that I couldn't lose. I couldn't lose. I knew yeah. going into this, just the names I was going against that I couldn't lose. I just knew that I can, I can fuck up the bag if I go up there and make a shit show. If I'm choking, if I'm if I'm being terrible, if I'm up there and never remembering my rounds, I knew if I gave it a hundred percent that what was going to come uh, be the outcome of that. And just seeing that and stepping back from it, it's like, man, you really did that shit, man. So I'm more motivated than ever now because now my next battle that I'm already booked for, and usually to be honest with you, bro, I'm after my battle, I'm waiting around like, yo, what's next? What's next, man? A couple months go by, and I'm like, man, don't forget about a nigga. But this one go around. I already got booked twice doing this. I got booked during JC and got booked right after JC. And I'm like, damn. I mean, this is all you are real. I don't really oversaturate myself with with a lot of other leads. But yeah. I got booked twice immediately. So I'm like, damn, this is fire, bro. I'm like, man, I right, man. It seems like I'm really in the rotation now. And, uh, and getting off of that hamster wheel, you know how that shit is, yeah. man. You, you being on that bench and it's like you just waiting for your turn, not necessarily for somebody to get injured, but for you just to get in the game, man. Like I don't care if it's ten minutes, I'm gonna try to score a point a minute, man. I'm a I'm a dive, I'm a I'm a grab a rebound, I'm gonna do as much as I can. So seeing my work pay off, fool, man, it's a it's a great feeling, bro. It's a great feeling, bro. Yo, but listen, man, you can just tell when certain people is rapping or certain people's up there or the characteristics and their quality, like well deserved, like. Like, you know what I mean? I, I know we just building a rapport, you know what I mean? Probably in the last year and a half, but I could tell you yeah. hunger. And and like I said, I said I, I forgot who else I said this about, but anybody that's willing to be a student of the game, like that's where I feel like mm -hmm. niggas go wrong. When you're not willing to, to study what, what came before you, whether you're a fan of it or not, but right. you got to study your right. history. You got to know 
what was there before you, the groundwork in order for you to create your own or surpass the, the history that's already there. So when I see you, I see that. Like even, you know what I mean, the, the camaraderie that you got for JC, like, yo, I mean, nah, that shit wasn't a robbery. That nigga was going and, and just learning the intangibles. Like somebody yeah, else, definitely. somebody else uh, had that same battle with you and not realize, okay, this nigga's turning like this and doing all this. Like they just going with it. Yo, man, the crowd is gassing, but they not understanding the science of what's exactly. actually happening. So now you can, you know what I mean? Not do what JC do, but now you understand it. So when you start doing your, your, your mechanisms, you know what I mean? Niggas, Nick, um, you know what I mean? People will gravitate to that because you learned, you know what I mean, with um, right, right. From, from what's going on. Um, somebody and in the chat said, ask you about Swamp. I guess they want to know how you feel about um, Swamp and JC going at it. Uh, I actually, um, Swamp is closer to my uh, closer to my class. I have a better rapport with Swamp, so I'm biased because mm -hmm. I want because I know how much the winner mean for him. I think he got a bunch of kids, man. We got an actual, we got an actual uh, a relationship. Like I, that's my nigga right there. Yeah. Um, JC, uh, on the other hand, man, I just stood in front of that, bro. And it's like, man, that nigga's pacing is just absolutely insane. One thing that happened during this battle though is that this is the first time, and maybe because I'm, you know. Uh, not to go too far back, but when you were saying I'm a student of the game, you gotta be because the game is different from the uh, from the Raptors and in the game. You can mm -hmm. study as much as you want to in the Raptors and oh this and that this and that until you check and guard a motherfucker. It's like hey yo, with them lights on you, it's completely different. So if anything, your notepad need to be out even more during the game type of thing while you're in there. But yeah. um, his. The way he's able to deliver his bars, this is the first time I've seen people frustrated with his um with his uh with his delivery. It's mm. the first time I've seen people say, Man, I don't really like all that two 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 bars and he's stopping type of shit. This is the first time I ever seen it. And I was like, I thought that's what y'all loved him for, type of thing. So maybe that's just what I'm hearing because I was actually in the cause I'm gonna get different type of comments like, yo, bro. I don't think that all of that stopping was this and that and, and this and that, blah, blah, blah. But in my eyes, this is the first time I've seen people frustrated that he was stopping that much. But yeah. I think that's a, a big problem because he lets his bars marinate. You know? So mm -hmm. if you don't get it, he, he gives you time to catch up to it. It's like, I know, I know. And while you don't know, that that person in the, in the audience might nudge the next nigga and say, he said this. The oh, and he gives you time, you know, type mm -hmm. of thing. Me, I'm also my transitions might go into my fourth bar. I might have a fifth punch. You know, he don't do a lot of five. He don't do a lot of five punches. He do a lot of twos. His twos feel like fours. His fours feel like eights, like type of thing. And that's just the way he kind of punches and delivers his bars. So, um, with that being said, I if I had to bet, which I wouldn't bet which I wouldn't bet. If I had to bet, I can't go against JC. But yeah. the, the the side of me that wants to win, I want Swamp to win. I want Swamp to win. I know how much it'll mean for him. But yeah. the betting side, I would have to go with JC. Copy, copy. I I, I definitely feel what you're saying. Because like if somebody asks me, like, yo, who you got? And I just got to call it out. I'm, I'm definitely picking JC because this is familiar turf to him. But you right. know what I mean? And on this road, Swamp proved me wrong. He proved everybody else wrong. It's like Yeah, I saw that apology. I saw yeah, that apology. Yeah. Hey, that's some real shit though, man. That's what's yeah. gonna separate you from a lot of motherfuckers, man, because people don't like to give it up, man. Yeah, of like course. I don't up. know. Nah, niggas like to get but you know why I gotta be a stand up nigga on that? Because I be tight when niggas won't do it with me. I'm the, I'm the underdog in like 90% of my, 85% of my battles. And then when I win, niggas just go about their day like they had me winning before and there's nothing. They'd be like, nah, nigga, the same 13 minutes that you went on ranting on how I couldn't win, nigga, at least give me four. Give me give four. Me say, give, give me, me some, four. Yeah, give me four saying, yo, DNA, you proved me wrong. Shout out. So I'm like, yo, you know what I mean? Yeah, Fonz yeah, is my yeah. guy, but you know what I mean? Just as much as I want yeah, him to yeah. win and it ain't happened, I got to give it up because like right. Swamp had a tough road. You know what I mean, he probably had he like had, he, he, had, he had one of the toughest roads. He had shotgun, shug, rum, nitty, and 
um fonts. You know what I mean? So it's right. like, yo, you got to gotta salute a nigga for that because he was. You got to man. Yeah. That, it's, it has to be respected, man. It's like, man, no matter what you want to say about it, man, that man's advancing. And if he knocks off JC, look at that. That that would be dying. Dot right before that was Civil War. I got it. That was a Civil thirty. War. Yeah, you got yeah. it. You got it. It was a dirty thirty too. Mm -hmm. it swamp. That was one uh, of. The, I, mean, I mean, that was one Dot. of the up up until the Rum Nitty battle. That was one of the best swamps I seen with Dot. Exactly, man. Mm -hmm. And I and I think it's like, man. I think in this um in this type of style of the tournament too, when you've been kind of sitting for a while, you know, you're, you're knocking the rust off type of shit like that. There's no way you could really. You can practice all you want to, but when the game happens, bro, it's like that's the game. Everything is subject to change. Mm -hmm. So to have them back to back after two weeks, the rust is off and you're learning a lot of shit, man, rather than you sitting out for six, seven months. So I think that's why we kept seeing them excel because it's like, yo, I learned this. I learned that. I learned this. I learned that type of thing. He can apply it immediately in two weeks rather than four or five months. And then he forget those little intangibles or them or them. All them small things that helps him win type of thing. I think his simplicity is what's getting him further because while everybody's kind of intricate, his accent and his simplicity of his bars, he's very relatable. Yeah. So it's like being that relatable on a big stage, man, you can really interact with a lot of people. And I say this a lot, that uh, Swamp can make a, and this is no offense, but he can make a girl say, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like if the girls get your bars, you're pretty much there, you know, type yeah. of shit, as far as being relatable type of thing. Like, he, he'll he have a type of bar, like, man, I'll leave everybody flat, like 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 how bitches like their chicken wings. Oh, for it, like, and boom, it relates almost every single time. So he has that type of effect. And being on that big stage, I think you need that type of effect. But then nigga, JC's delivery and his poise, how... Man, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I will be in the building, though. I got to yeah, see and, and, I got to see this. And I got to see this. Yeah, I'm in the building, too. But you also want to know something else that goes with Swamp, where I'm telling people, like, in life, you know what I mean? Whether, whether a nigga's a gangster or not, street or not, you always got to be able to read the room. A lot of niggas is going against Swamp, battling them, not understanding most of these events is taking place in the South. Right. So when you when you battling somebody that's relatable, that's from the South, that, you know what I mean, they already got that connection, and then on that's top of true. that, he's nice, but then you spitting bars that's over the head that niggas got to wait to drop on the app, it's not going to resonate with somebody that's fire and relatable. See, it's one thing when it be a nigga that's like, um, where people could be like, yo, man, it's gas or it's too simplistic, then people mm -hmm. got a leg to stand on. But I feel like Swamp is simple. But it's fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fact, so it's like fact. so it's it's like the best of both worlds. Like yo, got I don't gotta good, sit here. Got good balance. Yeah, got I don't gotta sit balance. here and get a headache. And this nigga about to say some shit that's like right there. But it's mm -hmm. fire. Like now, nah, me, me and my niggas was um homesick. Never homesick. We don't miss where we from. Like shit fire. like that is not nah, mean. It's fire. It's like how's nobody else thought of that? But it's not like something that's is right there, but on the right there fire. Like and that's dangerous. Yeah, that's so a fact. that's a fact. That's right. He got a lot of those bars where it's like, why the fuck didn't I think of that? Mm -hmm. Like type of type, yeah. type of bars, and it's because I just think that you know when when you're trying to uh, layer your bars so much, you can miss a simple layer that he just conquers type of thing. So mm -hmm. I think, um, and 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 piggybacking on what you said, you said this in a prior interview that yo, all that intricacy is cool, but you got to win in the room right now. You don't get a rewind button right then and there, like type of mm -hmm. shit. Like it got, it has to be intangible and you have to be coherent enough to understand it right then and there. If yeah. it has a small delay, that small delay might knock off a reaction. You know what I'm saying? Like it might be a, a oh, oh, I got it. But by that time, it's like the reaction is gone type of shit. So with that being said, Excuse me. With that being said, um, this is going to be a hell. This is going to be a. This is going to be a tougher battle for Swamp than it is for JC. Yeah, yeah, it's for be sure. A tougher for battle sure, for Swamp for sure. than it is JC, but I think he can pull it off. I think he can pull it off. For sure, for sure. Shout out to them, man. Like, yeah, like what I what I was telling before I ask you my last question, just to elaborate on that. What I always tell people is like for my career, right? Like. Mm -hmm. I, I, I never changed. The times changed, and I was happy they did. Like, a lot of people always felt like, yo, DNA is current of any. DNA is simplistic. But I'm like, y'all don't, for the niggas that's watching at home, y'all don't understand. 
all right, you're getting paid because it wasn't like how it is now. Back then, it was like, mm -hmm. all right, big events, ticket sales, you get paid more for this on this. So it's like mm -hmm. to even go to a Born Legacy or a band at that time is not nowhere exciting because the pay decrease is so insane. It's like I got to do what I got to do because in this room, mm -hmm. they don't they don't want to hit a first ball connected with the second and third, and then That's boom. COVID happens and then we get locked in this room and then all you know what I mean a lot of my peers they aren't able to keep up because they're still performing using the shit that was rocking the rooms but th for me nice. for me I'm excited that's why niggas didn't know I was so eager to battle Lou Castro because I'm like yo the shit that I always wanted to do now I get I to do, do it, it now you know I mean I so now now now, yeah, now, yeah, now yeah. my legacy don't have to be stamped yeah. with just yo DNA's a big room guy like now y'all get to see for right, at least right, eight, right, six to eight right. months, some other shit where it's like, oh, damn, he could do that too. So, like, mm -hmm. for me, it was like, yo, I'm happy that, you know what I mean, the times changed with everything that was going on in the world because if not, it would be super difficult to display that because we, like, now that you've been in that room, you know how they are. Like, it's like, yeah, you got to, yeah. like, uh, it's very few that can, that can translate both the same without making certain adjustments. Like, you got to always make them adjustments. Right. Facts, facts, facts. But my, my last question to you before you get out of here, obviously don't say the two people that they got you locked in for because, um, you know what I mean, we don't want to give that away. Mm -hmm. But who's three people on your list, like after all the list that you that you want to battle now, like that's on your your radar? Uh, So uh, it's a kid out there talking about he's... um. He's causing a lot of chaos. <laughs> I lost a hundred thousand, so I'm looking for a hundred thousand. Mm. Um, and uh, there's a guy that is that is 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 left field. But the only reason I'm saying it because he said something to me. It's a tie between um, uh, uh, a guy who's up in Detroit, who who's a lost nigga. And there's uh, that's a tie between that and another guy who goes by the name of Spawn. Mm. And mm. that the Spawn guy said something to me. So with that being said, these these are all names that have said my name. Mm. I have all those names I just named have said my name. So with that being said, I'm interested in anybody saying that the, the ambassador of the trophy's name. Don't talk, mm. don't speak my name if you don't want me come knocking at your door. That's all I ask. That's all I ask, man. And and trust and believe now, there is no 230. There is no time. Mm. Yeah, it's me getting off what I want to get off type of shit. So to those right there, man, you know, uh uh be safe. Be safe. Be safe. I ain't going to lie though. I'm I'm ready, I'm ready to see all of those. Yeah, definitely, definitely, bro, definitely, bro. I'm, I'm ready to get back in the ring, man. I'm off. You know how the battle rap high is, man. I'm off a of battle rap high now. I can finally look at my battles. Uh, when I was touching down back home, I watched the battle like once or twice, but I didn't want to get riled up into the last battle. So now I'm watching my battles like, damn, man, I was actually doing some shit up there. So I'm yeah. off the battle rap high right now. I can't wait to get back in the ring. And with that being said, y'all will see me in August. I will see me in August. August, man. Y'all heard it first. Shout out to C for pulling oh, up. Yeah, Great man, work man, in man, Ultimate man. Madness. Uh, the, uh, Everything Trophy site will be open up tomorrow at noon. Everything Trophies tomorrow noon. Copy. Make sure y'all go to everythingtrophies.com tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern time. Get your merch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got you, she. You're looking for pulling up, my guy. Hey, always, bro. You know, I'm always stop through whenever you holler at me, fool. Good luck. Nah, man. that's a fact. No doubt. All right.